didn't come this far to only come this far. I hear some people saying things like, when I make it, when I get to the top. I'll keep working hard until I get to the top, until I reach my goal. Let me tell you something. There is no end. Winners never stop. If you reach a goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. It's the journey. The continued pursuit of growth. The constant seeking of improvement. The challenge. That's what makes life great. That's what makes a fulfilled life. I didn't come this far to only come this far. When I get this goal, I'll seek more. Not more things, more growth. Constantly pushing myself to be better. I didn't come this far to only come this far. I came this far so I could be strong enough to go further. So I'll be good enough to push myself hard. I'm only getting started. This is just the beginning. I'm proud of my achievements, but that doesn't mean I'll settle for them. Proud, but never satisfied. Proud, but forever home. Proud and always ready. Proud, but pushing. Pushing for more. Pushing for great. A true winner doesn't seek only the title. A true winner seeks growth. A true winner seeks greatness. It's the journey. It's the challenge. Don't tell me it's over. I'm just getting warmed up. If the journey wasn't challenging, the destination wouldn't be rewarded. It's the challenge that makes the greatness. You can't have a champion athlete without great competitors pushing them all the way. You can't have the greatest of all time without champions pushing them all the way. It's the journey. The process that makes the greatness. If you reach your goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. If you want to be the best, you must outwork the rest. It goes without saying. The greatest work harder than the rest. They train harder. They learn more. They put themselves through more pain, more failures, more no's, more rejections. If your opponent does 10, you do 11. If they do 11, you do 12. If they do 12, you do 13, 14, 15. Sure, some of the greatest have talent, but none of that talent would ever be realized as greatness if they didn't put in the work. On the other side, Think of all those with little talent that have created magic with effort. Effort will get you whatever you want in life. Fighting spirit, that's what I'm talking about. That heart that you know is inside you, you just gotta let it out. To keep going when life has you on the canvas. When everything seems to be conspiring to stop you, to hold you back. But you say no, you say not today. The strength to fight back. The heart to fight through challenges and the determination to smash through unexpected obstacles. If you want more than most, you must work harder than most, work smarter than most, learn more than most, get up one more time, more than most. A belief is a feeling of absolute certainty. If you want to achieve anything in life, you need to get certain you will achieve it. You must believe in yourself. Beliefs control results because you will never take action towards something you don't believe is possible. You can have all the education in the world. It doesn't matter. If you don't believe you can do it, you will never get it. Do you think Jordan could have become the greatest if he didn't believe in himself? 
not a chance. He would have quit when things got hard. He would have quit when he was cut from his high school basketball team. You think Serena would be the greatest female tennis player in history without belief? Not a chance. These great athletes, great entrepreneurs, great human beings are great because they believe in themselves. They believe when no one else does. They believe when they are down. They believe when they are at rock bottom. This is my dream and I will succeed. Maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. There is no doubt in my mind. This goal I have, this dream I have, I will get it. I will, I will, I will. Beliefs control your results because you will never take action towards something you don't believe is possible. In order to succeed, you must believe. In order to believe you're good enough, you must be good enough. If you're not there yet, get to work. Work! 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 Until you get to the place where you know you will make it. No doubt! No doubt! I will make it! I will get it! I will have it! Work on your weaknesses until they become your strengths. Work on your flaws until they become your fire. Work on your problems until they become your power. You have to believe that something great can happen. Even if there is no evidence, believe! Even if others say it is impossible, believe! Even when everything is going wrong, believe! Change your belief that you can't to the knowing that you can. Change the belief that there are limitations to the knowing there are none. Change the belief that there isn't a way and push yourself to find your own path, your own answers, your own way. You can't just go off logic. The greatest achievements in the world defy logic. They are born from belief. The greatest achievements did not come from someone who saw what was possible and didn't dare attempt better. The greatest achievements came from those who see what is possible, but still believe they can achieve something impossible. They said I couldn't. They said I wouldn't. They said they didn't believe in me. They said I couldn't because of my circumstances. I couldn't because of my past. Because it hadn't been done before. I said, so what? You can complain and remain the same, or you can decide, commit, and work towards becoming someone that no one thought you could be. You can make all the excuses in the world. We've heard them all. But those that get on in life, leave the excuses and look for the possibilities. You might have had it tough. You might have had it real tough. But it ain't getting any better if you live there. You have to drop the little story and work towards your masterpiece. You see it so often. Stories of those with almost identical painful life circumstances. One chooses to live in the pain forever, repeating the reasons why they can't succeed, why they can't move on. The other uses the pain as their reason why they must change. They use their pain as strength. They use the people who don't believe in them as motivation to succeed. Not a reason why they can't. When things don't go their way, they don't say, why me? They say, so what? They say, try me. When things don't go their way, they keep moving forward. Your family isn't perfect.